All right, welcome to Wayne's World Garage. It's not hump day, it's Monday. 90 degrees and 100% humidity. Phil and I are out here at the park working on why these bearings are getting hot. And Dr. John and Jeff gave us some thoughts and some advice, so we're gonna check it out. First thing we wanna do is measure the run out of the mandrel, which is the big shaft which holds the saw, 56 inch saw. First thing we saw when we took it off is the, I guess the slow collar, the fast collars attached to the mandrel is a little bit damaged, so I'll probably take that home and remachine it. Um, what else do we see? And what else do we do in here? Let's see here. So we see when this is spinning, this bearing, this, this pulley here wobbles some. I don't know how much difference that makes. I don't know, but we'll find out, right? And what we did is we polished up this shaft here so we can measure the runout on that shaft. So let's, uh, let me get some dial indicators and measure runout. So I think we've got our dial indicator where it should be. Let me zeroize it, not that that matters. A whole heck of a lot. Is that you? Nail okay. Like no sense in leaving a nail sit somewhere that All right. Forward. All right, so we're at zero now. About. All right, so let's uh, give her a spin. Zero, 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 minus one, minus one. Wow. More? Keep going. Wow. This thing is straight. Did you do a full revolution? I mean, I see some anomalies like minus three, but at the same time, it's not, um, I don't want to tell you, it's not exactly. All right, we'll put it to zero again and we'll, all right. For Chinese, it's working all right. All right, uh, you're right, I'm it, yep. One, 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 one. You moved up to two, two, one. This shaft is not bent. One, one. I am shocked how straight this bitch is. Okay. That's like, that's amazing. That's amazing that it's within a thousandth of an inch. And that's why that is, I'm sure. Whoa, that, is that just a holder? Yeah, because you keep it in, was, you, you know. There's a big jump. Yeah, but it's not. If it went up slowly, you know what I mean. But when you hit these, it doesn't. That's not relevant. We're close enough. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Okay. Keep to spin it. Does that make you happier? No, I'm just kidding. It's. If this was bent, you'd see it five, ten thousandths out. Oh, okay. But to bend this thing. No, I think it's. Uh, let me tell you what. I think what we're saying is when it hits that one. It's yeah. Because it's hitting a. Um, uh, the way the, the only, the way the, the, like a nine. the way they got this so straight is because they ground it. And that's what John was saying. They take it and they hit it on a grinder. Yeah, you're in a pit hole or something. Yeah. So, so that's actually, that's cool. Right. That's good so news. We'll roll that out. So the only well, thing we got left I do want to, we do want to measure the, I'm curious about this. the fast collar. Okay. According to John, it's fast collar. I don't know why it's fast. And I've got a couple of ideas here. So let me. I'm going to, what's that? Yeah, I'm going to do it running so I can see the dial indicator jump up and down at 90 miles an hour. Okay, that's cool. It's pretty smooth. Put it at zero. Zero. And then, uh, You go to three, two or three. We're getting a movement on that. We're getting some, yep, we're getting some. Um, it, but, but as I recall, last time I did this on the face of it, we got three or four out of it. And on John said, on, on the fast collar, which is the one which is attached to the mandrel. He said, actually, that's more than it should be. Now, you may recall, I looked into what's it take to, to smooth it, make it perfect. And yeah. there's a jig. I know more now. I could make a jig that mounts here and here. But this is tapered, remember this is tapered. So it's a little bit tricky, but let me, um, let's measure it and see what it is. Um, if it's three or four. So are we within tolerance of that? Well, John would, John would, John suggested we're probably not, because he said three or four times 56, you know, inches 
ends up being a lot. But what are you going to do to fix it? The, to fix is R is to remachine this here on the machine. Somebody, oh. somebody will come out to do That's that. This one, not face. That's this one, not face. This one's not really relevant. This one's just, this is of interest because this part is all machined. Yeah. You know, this one here is interesting to us, but not, this is what counts. You know what I'm saying? That's the face of this guy. Not for the shaft part. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're, you're worried about the shaft being bent. Or, yes. or, or there's something off the yeah, bearings yeah. or something that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes, why, yep. That's why I was curious. I'm well, um, you know, so two things I'm in my head getting back to me. Are these belts too tight? Because the way these are set up, these are cranked all the way in almost. What if we loosen the belts a little bit? And let's take a look at these. Should we try and, I don't want to grease them, that's for sure. Oh, hell no. Yeah. If we run it without the, um, at speed, without the saw on it, let's see if it gets warm. You know what I mean? I don't well, know. We already know that because back here was already You get pretty warm. Yeah. yeah. So let me. It was the forward bearing on this back one that started. Do you want to measure the run out in the front of it then? Um, It'll take a couple minutes. Yeah. yeah we can you know, it takes five minutes. It's a part. So let me do it. Okay. It's free. I don't know about free, yeah. but I don't charge per measure. These you can loosen up and just pick the whole thing up. Oh, you can take the whole thing up, including, but you don't have to, I don't think. Just loosen these up and it lifts right out anyway. Leave those things in place. Yeah. Well, so. not just if, I guess if you got to get these off. Right, 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 right. All right, so I didn't clean this very carefully, but that's okay. You want to spin it? We'll see what we got. We're at zero now. Well, we go to minus one, up to four. That's a pretty big one. Minus one, to four, three. Yeah, minus one to so it's five thousandths, which is, I believe is what we measured before, which is more than what we would prefer. You want zero here. And what this will do, this will make it vibrate the saw. And the only way to fix it is to remachine this. You know what, make, let me make sure there's no shit on here, because this has got some stuff on it. Well, this is just plastic. The nice thing about this is... Go ahead and spin, give me some rotation if you could. It's nice and sure. The nice thing about this, these are plastic, uh -huh. and I use them on cars. Use them on cars all the time. You, that's how you clean gasket surfaces. It, it's pretty hard to. It's pretty hard to do anything bad. So there is a little, there's a little scratch in here, but let's put this guy back and see what she does. Go ahead and spin it again, and let me see what we got here. Well, the good news is it didn't fix it. It's still six, it's still five thousandths, okay. All right, is this thing working? Well, here's where we're at. We don't know where we're at. We did take the belts off this. We loosened them. We know one thing for sure. These little bolts here adjust the lead, but they will also adjust the tension on the belts. And the belts, to me, felt kind of snug. We loosened it and ran it, it didn't get warm, but we didn't cut any wood with it. We wanted to take apart this bearing, and this actually came off easy. Thank you to John and these guys. You take this 5 16th Allen screw out. There's a washer in there. This one was not locking it in place, though. There's a flat washer behind it, and I can't get that out. We will get it out, but I wonder what's holding that guy in. So, and it's the same thing on the other side. So the other side, we did the same thing. And kind of what we're thinking, these do spin. This is pretty heavy. We're not too enthusiastic about taking this thing home. The bearings feel okay, actually. But we're this far into it, it'd be good to take something apart, spray it out, and uh, clean it out and see what she looks like anyway. John, it was a great idea. We put this carriage southbound. Maybe that's eastbound. We put the carriage down the other end when we're working on it because we did have this running and we were emery clothing these shafts and stuff. So we'll see. Anybody, you got any brilliant ideas? Let us know. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Flynn and I are working hard at the sawmill. The big issue here is the bearings that hold the marindrol are getting hot. We're not quite sure why, but we'll figure it out.